Hey, what's going on guys? Wired Gaming, back again with some more Generation Zero. And today, the plan is simple. We are going to be going over the Phoenix Exosuit and the FOA Exosuit. And have a little look at those. They are the two coolest outfits in the game. And because they are sort of a rare outfit that you get from machines or challenges. Now, there are many implications that they could have. Obviously, you can upgrade your current apparel through crafting benches and crafting schematics. But, but, outfits such as these, ones that you have to really, really work for, I think should come with their own special bonuses. And today, we're going to talk about what those special bonuses could be. Let's do it. So, we are starting off with the FOA Exo Suit. Now, you can get this from farming the bad boy reaper himself. This is quite a cool outfit. It's nowhere near as cool as the hunter exosuit. But it is cool. It looks very military, sort of future soldier and enhanced soldier. And I like that look and feel about it. That's what that's the selling point of this outfit. That's what made me want to get it. And it's something very different. It looks very futuristic for the time. And uh, I like that. It's a sort of what what they could, in the 80s, would think that something like this would look like now. Obviously, if you've seen the film Live, Die, Repeat, that exosuit there is is in their heads what they wanted this to be. If you put... I'm... Um, I may be going, I'm going a bit in depth here, but if you put your head in the scientists that made the suit, not the developers, we're in the game here. The, the scientists that made the suit, it is, that's what they imagined it would be like. Now, it looks cool. Unfortunately, it's not very practical. It doesn't do anything. But, you know, that is something that should be changed. Let's look into the parts and go over what they could do. So we're going to start off at the top of the dude and work our way down. And we're going to discuss what kinds of awesome things that they could have implemented with these outfits. Now, the helmet... <clears throat> unfortunately for me, the FOA exosuit helmet doesn't really do it. I don't think there's anything that could really be done with it. It doesn't look that great. It just looks like someone's cut a hole out of a lump of steel and you've put your head in it. So I suppose it could serve a purpose of reducing incoming damage, possibly, um, reducing maybe the status effects. That would be quite cool, or reducing the amount of damage that the status effects do. Uh, th there are a few things there that could be done, but for me, the, the FOA helmet just doesn't really cut it. It's It looks a bit weird. Nah, each to their own, you know. It's, it's a cool with the whole sort of outfit, but on its own when you look into the helmet, I don't think it looks that great. Yeah, helmet. So, let's move on to the jacket. I've got a few things that we can go over with that one. Now, with the exosuit jacket, I feel like there is a lot that could be done there. Now, we've got breastplates on the front and a magazine box there. So, possibly that could... Well, is it a magazine pouch? Don't really know. Or is it just a random box? Um, but it could be something along the lines of extra ammo capacity if they went into that sort of option of splitting up the inventory weight and did separate things like you can carry so many weapons, so much ammo, so much this, so much that. Um, which would be quite a cool sort of little thing to do. Um, sort of like Division. That, that style there, you can carry a ammo, like so many rounds of ammo and your weapons and things like that are in a different category, which would be cool. Um, now, I love the shoulder plates. I think the shoulder plates look really cool with the little emblems. They just look nice. And then you've got these wires as well, which trail down from this main breastplate, uh, which could, could well be a source of power for whatever these wires are going to be powering. Now, because they travel down to the gloves... I wouldn't really say much, but they could split off and have, sort of like on the legs, you have the exoskeleton there. You could have that down the arms for increased reload. 
increase melee, all that kind of stuff. There are so many little bits that could be done with that. And then around the back, you've got this sort of spinal cord with your secondary butthole. Don't put things in there, guys. Don't do it. Um, but the the spinal cord there could be increased crouch movement. I don't know. Um, a jump, maybe. The possibilities that we could get with these outfits are really quite endless. Now, I'd love it if in future updates they did do things like that. These specialist outfits that we're getting, like the FOA exosuit, like the Phoenix outfit. Now, if they had specialist abilities that sort of stacked, that would be very, very... <coughs> pardon me, very, very rude, that was. That would be very, very cool. I'd love to see something like that. And then we have the gloves, which are really cool. I like the look of these gloves. Just the wires coming in there from this big wire at the top, which could be reload. Faster reload, faster aiming down sights, faster target acquisition, faster... Oh, all, all that kind of stuff with these gloves. I'd love to see things like that. And I, once again, I hope that that comes in the future. Now, we have the pants. Once again, they've got these sort of bars going up and down the side. Same as the sort of hunter... The, the tank pants on the Phoenix outfit. These could be an increased jump capacity or maybe even running speed. There are a lot of possibilities there. Maybe if they add actual punch in, kick in, increase melee damage through that. And last but not least, the Phoenix, the FOA exosuit boots. They're very cool. They look a bit clunky though. So I can't imagine these adding any sort of speed bonuses purely because they look huge I mean you could kick a tank in the nuts with this and he'd feel it but other than that uh, I don't really know what you could do with them increase crouch movement maybe because of this little plate here sort of pushes you back up lots of strange things but that is a little rundown on what they could do with the specialist outfits now let's move on to the Phoenix exosuit. So next up, we are going over my favorite outfit in the entire game. That is the Phoenix exosuit. This thing just looks absolutely cool. It is a beast all round. It is made up from components of dead machines, which is one thing that I really, really like about it. It's realistic. It's something nitty gritty. It's something that the player has gone out there, destroyed machines, scavenged parts, and built themselves a sort of suit of armor, an exosuit, if you will. Holy crap, it looks cool. There are loads of components to it, and the sort of implications that those components could have to bonuses and things like that are quite big. Let's have a look. It's really simple to get as well. I, to, in my personal opinion, I think this is easier than the, oh, I don't know, it's a, it's a bit of an iffy one. The FOA exosuit is really, really, really... It's simple to get, but it involves a lot and lot of farming. Uh, now, whichever one you'd find easiest really depends on you as a player. If you like having set goals and challenges, then I think the this outfit would be better for you to get. But if you like that farming element and, and the grind of hunting the Reaper, then the FOA exosuit is for you. Now... All you have to do to get this hunter suit, the phoenix suit, is very simple. Just complete the resistance path challenges. And it just involves destroying lots and lots of machines and relay beacons. It's really easy. You just got to kill the machines. The hardest part is probably the ticks. But other than that, it's, it's simple. It's easy to get. This is made up of several components, all from different machines. Now, first off, we have the Tick Helmet, which is really cool on a closer inspection. And looking at it as well, around here, it does look like it's been sort of dug out for a head. So it's not just like plonked on you. Although the ticks look a lot smaller than, uh, than the helmet, I'm not going to lie. It's just so cool, though. 
it would be really cool if it added a sort of camouflage element to it, but unfortunately not. The only elements that these things actually add is through the workbenches with the, the crafti craftables that you can put on them. Next up is the Phoenix Seeker goggles. Really easy. They look cool. Once again, I think these should definitely have an element to them of maybe like the Seekers can see you much faster than any of the other machines can. So I think that would be a really cool little thing to have. Like they can see you, you can see machines further, or maybe even being able to see the machine's components or something like that through these goggles would be a cool feature. Now my favourite part of the outfit is the hunter jacket. Now this just looks really, really smart. I love how they've added the fuel tank on the back, along with the sort of shoulder blades. It just looks really cool. And these sort of hydraulic bits on the arms here. Once again, I, there are so many possibilities that they could do with this outfit. They could add the sort of maybe increased reload speed or something like that with this outfit. Or maybe, well, no, saying that, not reload speed. Melee. M increased melee power. Something like 10%, 5%. I think that would be really cool. And then on the back, you've got what look like sort of little thrusters. Obviously, the hunters have that big boost. But do they do that from the legs? Or do they have a sort of tiny thruster on that back section that really helps them get that little bit of extra lift? I just think that they, they could have added so much more with these outfits. Next, the Phoenix Harvester gloves. Now, these... I, I personally, I'm not too sure where... Or what components are being used here from the harvesters. But I love the sort of metal fingertips. And how it goes all the way down the edge there is really quite cool. It's sort of like an exoskeleton on top of your hand rather than a glove. There's a glove on there but you've just put your hand in. And the, the metal components are above that just on the tops of your hands. Which is really cool. I like that. I like that look. And, and the wires there. It would be cool here if there was little lights or something. Now what you could get with these were, would be sort of increased reload speed. Or maybe aiming down sights faster. That kind of stuff. Maybe extra throw or something like that. Throw accuracy. There are, there are lots of possibilities that they could do. With the outfits. That I think it's a shame that, some, that that was missed. Um, maybe it could be something that could be implemented in the future. Because they are such special outfits that I think that they do need their own special attributes. Rather than upgrading them at the crafting table. Now, the jeans. The tank jeans. These are really cool. I like the little faceplate there covering your ding-dong. It does really look like a tank's head. Um, but they look amazing. I just love the wires that go around all of this whole outfit. It just makes it look... Much more man-made, like you've just scavenged the parts from the machines. And I, I really like that feel. Now, what, what could you get with these? The bonus could really be, like, that running speed. Or maybe an extra jump boost. Because, obviously, the tanks, they can sprint. When they want to sprint, oh, damn, they can sprint like hell. So, a little boost there to your sprinting would be really nice. Now, the Phoenix Runner boots. These things are wicked. They got like little handles on. I don't know what you need handles for. Maybe because you want to like lift your head, lift your foot all the way up and kick yourself in the face. It's crazy shit. But I think they look amazing. I like the little points that you got in the front. Imagine booting a machine in the face with that and then stomping on it with that back bit there. Oh, a kick to the nuts with these would hurt, man. That's not what you need, is it? Now... I don't know what sort of bonus you could get with these. The runners are fast, but then that would come in with the leg armor. So I did say the jumping with the with the leg armor, but possibly, possibly, jumping with the boots. Obviously, the the runners can hop up and do that strange kick thing. Maybe there are another possibility of melee. You can boot things in the face with this outfit. 
You never know. It, this, there are a lot of things that could be done, and, and, and I would love to see them. Um, I just like the look of these, though. The, the whole outfit in general is amazing. I've got the wrong eyewear on. I don't know how long I've done that for. <laughs> this, I, I must say, though, it looks a bit better with that. It looks quite cool. Um, the whole outfit could really do with some awesome bits, uh, just as a whole. And then maybe like set pieces. Once you've got them all, you get that additional bonus. So maybe there's a 2% armor bonus with each of them. And then when you've got that full set, you get a 20% boost. I think that would be a really cool idea to implement in the future. with Maybe with future pieces of the cosmetics. Because obviously at the moment, we can upgrade them ourselves. But I think for outfits like this one and the FOA exosuit, they need that upgrade there as as more i know that the, they are cool and that is the incentive in itself especially for me i at the second i saw that this was out there i wanted it and i grinded and grinded until i got it um with the foa exosuit i didn't quite get that that sort of grindy need that I, that was there uh but hmm. there are a lot a lot of things that could be done with the cosmetics in the future and I really hope that that's something that they do sort of implement. Rather than just, here's some clothes, wear them, look cool. Upgrade them if you want. But sort of specialist items like this come with their own attributes. But that is it from me today, guys. I've been Wired Gaming. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And we will see you very soon with some more Generation Zero. Peace.